G'day viewers, well I haven't made a video in a while Been taking a break from YouTube for a while so Trying to get back into it This is going to be a, um, just a bit of a help video for Because um, YouTube user Tesla Bank sent me a message Asking how do you locate the heater on a CRT or the, um, the filaments The way I did it was just to look at the heater itself on this, these bit projection CRTs are pretty easy. You can see the two bits right in the middle there. That's right in the middle of the electron gun assembly is the, um, the actual heater, the filament. Where you look where the um, connections go to that and you trace that back. And I've traced it back to these two pins which are bent. And that's how I found out. You can also um, check with a multimeter but I don't know what the specs are because every, CR every CRT is different. Some older, uh, some TVs ever have it written on the neck board, which one's which. So, it'll take a bit of experimentation to find which one's which on these. They're all different, as I said. Oh, I'm going to do a bit of an equipment autopsy. This is an old VS Commodore fuel pump. I've taken the pump front assembly off it. That normally went in there. That's the end plate with a little one-way valve. And that's the impeller. And that's the um, back plate, fairly against there. There's like a little, um, not a, like an oil pump in there. I've got to pull that out and see how that all works. And then yeah, the fuel goes through there, through the motor. So I finally had to pull that out and have a look at how that's set up. It looks pretty interesting. Okay, viewers, I just cut away from the house and you just peeled it away like a sardine can. That sand's a bit riveted together. But you can see it's like a little um, cam in there, and a set of uh, like a rotary pump in there. If I can find a way to turn that, behind that is this little assembly here. And there's the motor. Very compact disc top commutator. Very strong uh, magnets. And that's part that actually drives this little pump here. And there's a terminal rock so the, the brush holder. There's a ball there for the, the valve. It's very interesting. Don't know what ethanol E10 fuels would do to this because I don't think these sorts of pumps are approved for ethanol fuel so can't expect this to last too long with um, ethanol fuel running through all the time. The moisture wouldn't be very good on this. There's a fair bit of wear in that um, commutator. I think this was changed when the car done a hundred and I think it's hundred and thirty thousand we changed it. Started to get a bit noisy so nice strong set of magnets. There you go. It's all got bits taken out of it for um, balance. So take bits out to give it some balance. Alright. That fits in there if I turn that. Yeah, the demo for how this works. Little thing behind there, you can see it turning. Yeah, it's at full speed. Obviously, not supposed to run these dry. I designed it to have fuel for them continuously. You never run these dry because that's what um, burns them out. Now, put this back together. That sits in the back like that, I think. That sits in this. Right. And there you go. Now, if I can apply some power to it and see if it works. Not much time once you pull them apart and learn how they work. Uh, it's obviously not enough current. That transformer needs probably supply at least maybe 10 amps at least to get this thing to work. Haven't got enough current to kick it over. Just sits there and hums. But yeah, it would work. That's a very interesting little design they had made this. If 
I didn't turn. Hold that together. And you're gonna put this little assembly here back on at the centre. Alright, oh, let's see that does. A lot of friction there for some reason, it's hard to turn. Pull this out, go up this way. See what this does. Yeah. Better location there. No bearing, so it's going to stick to the magnets and not want to turn, so... But yeah, it's a very interesting little design of motor. Okay, if you I think I got this thing to finally run. It's got to hold it in the right position. Yeah, get the idea how it works now.